what's up cool guys and welcome back to another little tutorial in this tutorial I'm just gonna be telling you guys how to make some custom thumbnails for your YouTube videos so I have I have many different things I can choose from I have blender cinema 4d Adobe Photoshop and paint.net paint.net is what we're going to be using because in my opinion it is the most easiest to use and most um, user-friendly so I was just working on this right here for my uh, the blocking dead thumbnail I was playing and I'm gonna be showing you how to do something like this but anyway if we uh, reopen that there so now what we gotta do is uh, first off you wanna find a nice uh, background on the internet so if we just go to uh, let's say we go to just back backgrounds it just it just has a lot of different backgrounds I mean this this one looks real nice so this is actually gonna be we're gonna be making the thumbnail for the video with this background so mm, which one so many to choose I think we'll go with this one it looks real nice so save image as and we'll just name it background <laughs> And background. Dot, oh, okay. So I guess I'll name it background tutorial. Spelled wrong. Let's see. All right. Now let's get out of here and open this up real quick. Oh crap. Sorry, I'm using Bandicam and it's really hard to use. So anyway, um, it's not hard to use. It's just blah. blah, blah. All right. So now that we have that background. Now that we have the background, let's go to our desktop, and then it should be in your downloads. So if I have it in YouTube thumbnails, so I keep all of them in here. So now we have our background right here in the downloads. So we'll take it and then just drag it open. And then you're going to press add layer. And then, holy crap, this is actually really small. Okay, so uh, it's actually pretty small. You want to take this tool and then resize it. Resize it to good, good amount. I'd say about this much. Just so much that it just takes up the whole entire um, screen. And then what you want to do is uh, you want to click on text and just add some random text. So um, let's say you want to make it a little bit bigger. So about around 72. Oh crap, that's a little too big. Uh, 48. That's about. That's about right. So now, we'll take this and just write. How? Oh yeah, it's in black. Hang on, let me change the color. Something bright, probably yellow, because this is a pretty dark background. How to make a custom? Oh god. Custom. Custom. Thumb. Nail. For your. Mine. For your. God. For your. Videos. Oh crap, that part's yellow. I need to change it to something that's not in here. Uh. Green. That looks better yeah well I <laughs> I picked a pretty horrible background actually and then you can add um, like let's say okay this is only for minecraft youtubers so if you wanna if, if you're not a minecraft person blah, 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 you can just go ahead and um, change just skip ahead a little bit so what, what what we're gonna do here is you can go to the internet and you go to the what what which will be in the description Nova skin dot me. It's a great website. I use it quite a lot. It's very great. So what Nova skin dot me is gonna give you is is you're you're gonna say start editing my skin now. This is my Minecraft skin because I am a Minecraft player. So what you can do is you can go to uh, if just just if it doesn't show up immediately, just type in like your player name like um my friend's name is Chad Rich 
And I spelt all that wrong because caps lock is still on. Chad, oh god, Chad, score, rich. And right here we have a skin. So what we want to do, you just want to click on pose, but I'm not going to use the skin. Let me go back to my skin. I'm just going to go 1, 8 by 6. I know that's a dumb name for my Minecraft, but... I was a little kid and I didn't know what to name myself. But if you go to pose, you have different um, little things that I can pose for you. And then, like, you can change the point of view. This is my favorite pose right here. You can change it to, like, if you're, f if you're like, flying down. I don't know. You can, you can change. You can, like, uh, switch it around. We'll make it like this. And then you can click on. Why did his leg just do that? You can click on photo, and then you have the photo, but that that's not great. Let's, uh, yeah, I don't want it like that. Let's change it to something. Um, like, uh, I don't want it to make something silly. I'm taking too long. I'll just make it like this. So then you're gonna click photo. It something doesn't look right about it. It's just. You click on this. Hmm. I feel like something's wrong about this. Anyway, click photo. And then you're going to say save image as. And then uh, name it whatever you want. Um, yes, and then just click save. Then have it make sure it's a PNG or JPEG. Cancel, because I already have a thing I'm going to be using. And then you can exit out after that. And then. Once you're back to paint.net on your desktop, which you're flip this thing, this stupid bandit cam, it just screwed up. Okay, I just like it, you can see all my apps now, but uh, whatever. This is you go to you go back to your downloads, which it'll be in unless you put it in a folder, and then you'll find where it is, whatever you named it, and then you just drag it in, and then. Okay, right here, this is the important part. It has the background and what I just made, the background tutorial background. So you want to merge them together to make one. And then, let's say you just pull it in. Click Add Layer. And then, bam, you got your Minecraft guy right here. Is this tool. Drag him to wherever you want. You can uh, resize him, but it'll make my guy look stupid and like fat or something. So I'll just put them right here, and then click Merge Layer, th right, this this button. Uh, Paint.net will be in the description below, just so you guys know. And then, um, if you want to, like, put in uh, something else, like uh, another th pose, if you want to put two of you guys in, you need to make sure that it's merged, and then you can click Add Layer. Because what happens if it's not merged, let's say you want to add in another one, click add layer nothing shows up because you need to merge the layer so go ahead and uh oh what did I just do nice um yeah so now this is this is pretty much how you make a custom thumbnail there's much more you can do with paint.net I just haven't figured it out yet also if you don't if you don't want to get uh if you want to be lazy and just make the background a color then you can choose right here which color you want, like let's say purple, and you can get the bucket, and then just like click, and it'll fill up the background. But anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy, it, then please leave a like, favorite, all the good stuff. Click that subscribe button and become part of the Cool Guy Club today. More tutorials in the future. Thank you guys for watching. See you later, and subscribe.